you know, I just don't like that I don't have the time to get to know you the way I feel I should properly get to know you. My age, 39. Never been arrested, not once. No police record, no, no run-ins. Tammy's had some people in her past that yeah. was not a really good influence on her. She started partying hard. Hell, she was partying hard. You know, do you party? Are you going to end up bringing that back into the world? No plans of that at all. Honestly, I'm, I'm trying to get better myself, you know? What kind of jobs have you held up, you know, in the past? I've done a little bit of everything. I mean, I've uh, trimmed trees, uh, fast food work. You know, really right now, the big deal is he's not able to physically, right at the moment, go out and get a physical job and make sure the bills are met in the house. That's what I worry about. And that's... Not being derogatory, that's just straight up facts. We've been pushing and pushing and pushing Tammy to get self-sufficient. My issue is, is are you committed to get healthy? Because if not, there's a good possibility Tammy could end up taking care of you. You understand what I'm saying? I want Tammy to be living Tammy's best life. And I do not want Caleb to hold her back or, you know, worst case scenario, revert back to the same way she was. If that happens, she'll have done all this work for nothing. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I'm not quitting, I'm not giving up, I'm not stopping. I've never felt like this before. I've never been this motivated. Like, you have no idea how heartfelt every single moment in my life is because of your sister. I hope he's being genuine and telling me the truth. But I also, in the back of my mind, I've dealt with Tammy for 36 years now. So, and I've heard her tell me, oh, I want to do right. And then a month or two later, stop. So, the proof is in the pudding, Caleb.